we're going to talk about the importance of NAC, why should you take it, its benefits, and a couple of important information you probably didn't know that will really help you to understand how and when to best use NAC. So if you are looking to boost your body's natural defense system, perhaps you are seeking a way to enhance your health, enhance your well-being, your longevity. If this is the case, You've definitely come to the right place and today we're going to dive deep into NAC, this wonderful supplement that I've talked about previously in a previous video about its benefits, uses and side effects. But now we're going to explore the real reasons why incorporating NAC into our daily routine is a game changer for our overall health and well-being. So it's important for us to understand the importance of the cysteine and glucathione first. So picture this, your body is like a well-oiled machine, constantly working behind the scenes to keep you up and running. But what happens when a crucial component is missing? Here is uh, the case that cysteine starts to enter into the picture, which is an essential amino acid that serves as a building block for glucathione, one of the body's most potent antioxidants. With its rich supply of cysteine, your body struggles to produce glucathione efficiently, leading to potential health issues. Now, let's shine the spotlight on NAC, also known as N-acetylcysteine. So this remarkable compound is not only readily absorbed by the body, but it also plays an important role as the rate limiting factor in glucathione synthesis. In simple terms, NAC acts as a catalyst, facilitating the production of glucathione, which is the body's ultimate defense against oxidative stress and free radicals. So why is NAC so important? You, might, you may be wondering what sets NAC apart from other amino acids. The answer here lies in its unique ability to kickstart glucathione production. So while glucathione consists of three amino acids that are glycine, glutamine, glutamine and cysteine. It's cysteine that holds the key to unlocking the full power and potential of this antioxidant rich uh, ingredient. Without an adequate supply of cysteine, what happens is your body's glucathione production grinds to a halt, leaving you vulnerable to oxidative damage. Now, let's talk about the antioxidants, the three antioxidants, glucathione, vitamin C, and vitamin E, and their role with helping with NAC absorption. So imagine a superhero team, each member complementing the other to protect the city from harm. That's precisely how glucathione, vitamin C, and vitamin E work together to help in safeguarding your body against oxidative stress. While your body can produce glucathione internally, obtaining sufficient levels of vitamin E as well as vitamin C is required in this process. So by using NAC, you're not only boosting, boosting glucathione levels, but you're also fortifying your body's natural defense mechanism. But wait, here's more. Beyond its role in glucathione synthesis, NAC also is responsible for many additional benefits. As a mucolytic uh, agent, NAC helps to break down mucus bonds, making it a wonderful in helping with respiratory conditions such as asthma and bronchitis. And this is exactly how I used NAC and I found remarkable results in terms of asthma. So whether administered orally or via a nebulizer or uh, other methods as well, NAC offers relief by helping to clear the airways and promoting easier breathing. So when it comes to supplementing with NAC versus glucathione, it's important for you to weigh your options carefully. Both can enhance glucathione levels, both glucot uh, uh, the uh, ingredients that we talked about. So NAC often emerges as a more cost-effective option and a choice if that's what you're looking for. Additionally, NAC's versatility, its flexibility to be used as a mucolytic uh, agent which helps us to remove excess mucus. It's a preferred option for anyone suffering from chronic respiratory conditions. However, individuals with genetic variations affecting glucathione synthesis may benefit from direct glucathione supplementation. And this is where you really need to look at your situation and your body and exactly get your priorities and check what you need. Now that's 
the basically the basics we've covered the basics let's talk about the dosages so for adults that is seeking to help with boosting their overall health starting with a daily dose of about 500 milligrams of nac is recommended as a general dose for acute respiratory issues higher doses are also needed initially followed by a maintenance regime i personally started with 600 milligrams and then i slowly and gradually within the end of the month i reached to a thousand milligrams and that really helps and then whenever i need to get into that maintenance i'll take anywhere between 300 to 600 milligrams of nac but as always please consult with your healthcare professional in order to determine the optimal dosage for you and your specific needs and situation if you have found this video helpful like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. I'll see you in the next one and I wish you the best of health.